Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is May 4th, 2017 and today is Thursday morning. So things are unraveling. We'll just be uh, looking at what's coming up next for today. Economic news. Um, just a few things coming out today starting at 1030 South African time this morning. GBP numbers, uh, services PMI number coming out. Not a major number, but something to look at, okay, especially with uh, <clears throat> the GBP uh, trading close to its uh, resistance. Um, and then at 6.30 South African time, uh, that's a euro number, euro um, ECB President Draghi will be speaking. So that might shake things up a little bit. Um, considering that we're still in the eye of the storm and then it's supposed to be 2225 it's it says 1025 uh, it's really this evening South African time 1025 this evening CAD number uh, Bank of Canada president Polos will be speaking okay another major event uh, but just you know nothing really to shake the markets up too much but it's important to know that these things are coming out now tomorrow we have non-farm payroll coming out of in the United States and that's coming out at 2:30 South African time and then of course Sunday we have the French elections so uh, one of the things we've already done okay which was the uh, FOMC which was last night we'll go over some of the numbers right now. so we're going to start here with the Dow okay the Dow Gained some points yesterday. If we're looking at a four-hour chart, you see the, you know, we 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 we've been really rallying for quite a while. We sold off a little bit uh, for the past, I would say, week. You know, we've been just turning down, and we've, you know, made back some of our money. We're at somewhat of a re support resistance right here. Really, resistance, previous support. Uh, I'd like to see a continuation. We're at 20,900. Okay, we head all the way to, to almost 21,000 in our last run, um, and we're sliding back to this all-time highs. Now, what's really noteworthy right here is the DAX. The DAX is the monster. Okay, 12,566. We said this yesterday. Uh, we said that it was breaking higher and breaking higher, and you know it broke higher with this really nice volume, and we're trading at 12,566. Guess what? It's all-time highs, all right? We're looking at a monthly chart here going all the way back to 2001. So really very, very important that the DAX has gotten so strong. Obviously affects the euro, obviously affects the Dow. Now, the Dow is the lagger here. Um, and as the corporate earnings I mentioned in our previous representation yesterday, we had a special event for... Um, for the three events that were coming up, um, I mentioned that there are a lot of corporate earnings coming out of the United States, very positive. Apple came out, Facebook, um, Microsoft, AIG, major, major U.S. companies coming out with earnings this week. So it's been shaking and rattling the market on a positive note. Now, I would have expected it to break higher here, okay, but the Dow Jones is playing catch up. Um, and I, we're still above our 30-day and 40-day, 14-day moving averages. But I'd like to see some consistency here, some sort of impetus. We may get this after the elections. Maybe it's just holding off for that. But keep an eye on this. Looking at oil, oil's been trading lower at $47 a barrel. Not the biggest move. The bigger move is really gold. We're looking at gold here on a daily chart trading at 1236. A big, big retracement big sell-off for gold as you can see we traded close to 1300 and now we're at 1236 and we mentioned this we were kept on breaking this lower from the 14 day uh, and the 30 day and we kept on breaking it lower and I said you know if you could play catch up you could play catch up and it's just evident that the markets are strong the equity markets are strong the Dow Jones should catch up um, but as you can see um, you know the more, more averse securities more averse investments are uh, still you know getting weaker as we can see here now looking at this we're almost at a support level I would say right here so you know besides going down to 1200 which was our previous support level that's a longer support level I would say that we do have a support level here at 1236 so let's see how this involves during the week now looking at the euro USD 
EURUSD was trading between this 109.45. We mentioned this. It was trading between this range and, you know, it was at the bottom of the range yesterday, rally just a little bit. Didn't make a big fuss yesterday, but, you know, as you can see, uh, we did have a little bit of a move, uh, you know, on the upside and then the downside. But altogether, it's unched uh, from yesterday's trading because we're right back in the middle where we were. Now, we're at the bottom of the range right here at 108.94. This is going into the French elections on Sunday, so just, you know, like I said, be careful. This could go either way, either above this 108.7 or above this 109. And if it does rally, it will rally that viciously. So just keep an eye on it. If you do have open positions, you might want to scale them down. Um, if you, you are flat in any positions, you don't have any positions open, you might not want to jump in necessarily right away. Now looking at the GBP USD right here, GBP USD selling off at our resistance level. This is what I like to see. It's a beautiful chart. It's a beautiful day. Uh, 129.26 there, and we're trading at 120.72, a 50 pip move, which is not bad but it is a sell-off. I would like to see a little bit of maybe selling off further to 128, 25-ish level, 35-ish level, holding this line and maybe taking it above next week. So keep an eye on the GBP USD as well. It is happening. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.